Hey, it's me. I know you're still upset, but remember what mom says about the silent treatment. Call me, please. Understand how it comes to that. It just does. Two people fight and one of them loses it, says so something horrible they can't take back. They want to, maybe, but the damage is done. And if they talk to each other, they'd say more crappy things. But they could say they were sorry or they could explain Shh. it. Stop it, please. Cat. It couldn't happen, could it? Between you and me? No, no way. It's different with us. I promise? I promise. <laughs> Look, I have a great idea. No, 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 no. Donna, it's me. I need you to tell Mr. Larson I'm not coming in today. Cat, are you crazy? You've got the design review today. Well, I'm sorry, Donna. It's a family emergency. I can't come in. To my little sister, who finally flew over the cuckoo's nest. I'm not toasting to that. Why not? It's disrespectful. Please. It is. Besides, it makes it sound like I'm deserting them or something. Look, I know what you want this to mean to me. Don't. I can't help it. 
And all I can think about is mom sitting there with mascara running down her face and dad acting like nothing's wrong. Just making an baloney sandwich. Think about something else, like what kind of curtains do you think you might want? But mom's a mess and I'm supposed to just, just shrug it off and go look at swatches? I'd be open to looking at paint. I'm not sure if you remember me or not. I'm Sophie's sister. I was supposed to pick something up from her place, but she forgot to leave the key. I was wondering if you could let me in. That would be illegal. Look, um, the truth is, I'm worried about her. I need to get in to make sure she's okay. Don't look like there was a break-in. Doesn't seem like she left town either. Maybe she went for a walk. She didn't go for a walk. bad for them if I want. Well, I can't. Why? Because I can't. Because it hurts? I'm trying to be here for you, Sophie. I know. Then stop. Don't you want to get healthy? I mean, don't you want to stop living in denial? Stop with the self-help platitudes, my God! Why can't we talk like normal people? And what is wrong with our family? Mom throws things, you disappear, and then... Did you know he was having an affair? For God's sake, Sophie. Mom is terrified that he'll leave. Mom is always terrified. But she won't talk to him, and you're not gonna talk to him, so I'm left to confront him. Oh my God. But I wanna tell him how I feel about it. I wanna tell him that it's wrong. As if that alone has ever stopped anyone from doing anything. No, no, I'm not getting sucked into this. Cat. Please stay. <sighs> What's going on? Oh my God, Sophie. Thank God that you scared me to death. <sighs> um, 
I was worried. I haven't heard from you in over a week. Oh my god. You thought I was dead. <laughs> she came here looking for my body. <laughs> Apparently, she manipulated you into letting her in, and I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. As you can see, I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you. You still here? Sophie. I was worried. I had to come see that you were okay. I heard you the first time. Sophie, please, I just want to talk. <laughs> well, isn't that ironic? Didn't you get my messages? I didn't mean it. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I was upset. Obviously. I'm sorry. I don't care. Can you believe it? How could he do this? How could he just run off with her and he tells us in a letter? <laughs> you think he'll marry her? I don't know what you're talking about. Dad, didn't you get his letter? I guess. I think you'd know. It's the, the one where he says he's moved to Arizona and he's going to start a whole new family. I didn't read it. What? I didn't read it. Kat. Kat, I know how much 
much you hate to talk about these kind of things. And I do my best to respect that. You know that I do. But this is an exception. He's gone. For real. And even you can't pretend that that doesn't hurt. Cat. Cat. Don't touch me. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know what your problem is? You making a mess at my house. No. You, you think that you're protecting yourself, but you're not. If only we could all sing kumbaya and talk about our feelings. No, you either feel your pain or you act it out, Kat. You self-righteous little bitch. All my life, all I've ever done is tried to protect you. I've stayed strong. I've kept it together. But you look at you. You, you, you love this, don't you? You love this. Just like mom, you're, you're not happy unless everyone around you is as pathetic and miserable as you are. God, you wonder why dad left. I envy him. <laughs> Sophie, wait! Sophie! Yes. Mr. Larson is freaking out. What do you want me to tell him? Cat. Tell him I made a mistake. Tell him it won't happen again.